Hello and welcome to the next video. What we're going to look at now is how we can identify different organisms. This is also a skill that's not necessarily only usable for organisms, but that's what we're going to be focusing on, okay? And what I mean by identify is, what if you're given a picture of a bunch of different plants or a bunch of different animals and you need to be able to identify what each of them is? And so one of the ways you can do that is by using something called a key. And the type of key we're going to focus on in this video, we'll look at something else in the next one, but in this one we're going to look at branching keys. And these basically, it's a little diagram or drawing that asks you some questions, you follow along based on the questions, and then you've identified your different types. So, let's say I've got... Uh, I'm going to say I've got four fish, and each of them is slightly different. So this one has green stripes, this one has green spots, <coughs> oh, bless me, sorry. This one has red stripes, and this one has red spots, and we'll just label these A, B, C and D. And now basically we're going to say that each of these four fish has a different name and we want to know what the name of each of those types of fish is. So I'm just going to pause it for a second and then I'm going to draw a branching key out and then we'll follow it through and see if we can work out what type of fish we have. So here we go and I've made a branching key now. So before we look at this in detail, you can see though there's different branches that come off and that's where it gets the name from. Now, this is obviously a fairly silly example and we'll look at some more serious ones. But I just want to do this quick basic one so you can actually see how we use them. So at the top, we've got that these are all fish. And so I want to find out what the name of fish C is. So, my first question, I've got two options. I can go either branch. I can either go to the has stripes branch or the no stripes branch. So fish C, well that has stripes, so I come here. So then my next option is green stripes or not green stripes. So I go to C, well those aren't green, those stripes are they? So I go not green stripes or well, that fish is John. Now if this was actual animals you were trying to identify we'd instead be saying, okay, this was a trout or something, if we follow the characteristics that led to that. But like I said, this is just a silly example to see how these keys work. Then we'll have a look at some ones that are a bit more authentic. So, let's pick another fish. Let's go with B. So, so fish. Now we have has stripes or no stripes. So let's look at B. Well, that's got no stripes, does it? So we go down to this branch. And then our options on this branch are red spots or green spots. So our fish, well, it has green spots, so that fish is Chris. So that's how these branching keys work. It's basically a decision at each branch. You make that decision and then you just follow that down until you get to the end where something has been identified. So I'm going to pause again and I'm going to draw out a slightly more serious example here with some different types of animals, and then we'll use the key to try and work out what my terrible drawings of animals are. So, here we go with another example. Now, I've done some beautiful drawings of animals up here, and I know just by looking at them, you'll be able to tell what they are straight away. But if we couldn't, we can use this branching key to find them out. And so let's look at animal A, then. So we'll A. And our first choice is, does this have legs or no legs? Well, animal A, that's got no legs. So then we come down here. So then our next choice is, does it have a shell or no shell? Well, that has no shell on it that I can see. So that is a fish. Let's go with animal B. Okay, legs, no legs. Well, again, that's got no legs. So we're down to this one. And then does it have a shell or no shell? Well, this one has a shell. So then that must be a snail. And what you've hopefully noticed here is that your branches, each of your choices, they're the opposite of each other. So it's like legs, no legs, shell, no shell. So that's how these keys are supposed to work. It's supposed to be, has this thing, and then the other option is, doesn't have this thing. 
and then slowly you can narrow it down. So let's look at our next animals and follow through the same process. So see here, legs, no legs, well this one has legs. So then our next option is wings or no wings. I know it's not a great drawing, but I don't see any wings on that. So that means no wings, that means C is a sheep. Then animal D, does it have legs or no legs? Well it's got legs, that's what those little scribbles there are. So we come down to this one. Then we've got that same choice, wings, no wings. See, it has a thing, it doesn't have a thing. This one does have wings, and so that is a chicken. Now obviously, it's a fairly easy example. These are all very different animals. But if you were to get different leaves, for example, and one said broad leaf and narrow leaf, and then one said uh, spiny edge, not spiny edge, one said green, red, oh sorry, green, not green. And like that, going down and down, you'd eventually be able to narrow it down to the different type of leaf you have. And so the more choices you have up here, so the more things you're trying to decide between, the more branches you'll have to have. Because each of these branches, there needs to be a finish point for each individual thing. So here I've got four animals, so that means there needs to be four ends to my branches. If I had eight animals, there'd need to be eight different ends to my branches. And so that means my whole sort of branching key is going to be bigger. So, following a key and using it to work out what you have is a fairly easy process. Making the key is a little bit harder. So we're going to look at that next. We're going to look at making the key. So what I'm going to do is, this time, I'm just going to write down the names of six animals. Oh, focus, there we go. So, let's do our six animals. Have a wee guess at home, see if you can guess what animals I'm going to write. I'm going to write dolphin, hedgehog, owl, Cat, snake, one, two, three, four, five, and oh, I have gone blank on any other animals that exist. Let me have a little think. Let's go with shark. And so we'll write animals at the top of our key because that's what all these things are. So we just go down, we only have two branches to go down, because it has to be one or the other. So, the way you come up with your branches, you see I'm drawing this big because I think this might take up quite a lot of space, because we've got a lot of animals. So I'm going to make it as big as possible, just right from the start, to make sure I have enough space. And the way you think about this is, basically... If someone had told you they'd picked one of these animals, what questions would you ask to start narrowing it down? Like a game of guess who, basically. So say I've picked cat, or you know someone has picked cat. What questions would you ask to start narrowing it down? So the first thing I might say is, uh, lives in the sea, doesn't live in the sea. And that's going to help us narrow it down a little bit. So let's go over here, lives in sea, because some of our animals do live in the sea, dolphin and a shark. And over here, so we've got a thing, and over here we have the opposite of it. So the opposite of lives in the sea is doesn't live in sea. And then we'll just focus on one branch at a time. So, now, we've got lives in the sea, so our two options for lives in the sea a dolphin or shark. You can get some snakes in the sea, but we'll just pretend for the time being. We'll just go with snakes on land. So, we've got dolphin and shark. What question could we ask that could tell the difference between a dolphin and a shark? Now, they are fairly similar, okay? But the question I'm going to go with, what different difference they have, which you might already know from the work we've done on... Um, organisms before, I'm going to go with mammal and not mammal. 
So if I follow this down, I go, okay, lives in the sea. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to move this out a bit so you can see where I've written mammal. Lives in the sea. We've got dolphin and shark. So one of those is a mammal. Well, a dolphin is a mammal. And not mammal would be a shark. So if I asked those questions, if I asked lives in the, does it live in the sea or not, and then is it a mammal or a not mammal, well then that's allowed me to narrow it down to dolphin or shark. So then we need to think about the other animals we've got left. So we've still got four to go. We've still got hedgehog, owl, cat and snake. So we're going to have to have a couple of questions to get... Oh, sorry, a little hiccup there. We're going to have to have a couple of questions to identify these. So, hedgehog, owl, cat, snake. What could we think of to split them up? Well, let's do one you've seen before. Let's go for legs and no legs. So, let's say no legs and legs. So, legs, well, that still leaves hedgehog, owl, cat. So, we're going to need more branches here. But no legs, well, that only leaves snake. So we can write snake there. Because if someone has got this far, if they've gone as far as doesn't live in the sea and then it's got no legs, the only option there that fits that is snake. So now we're looking at hedgehog, owl, cat. We're thinking, hmm, what question could I ask that will separate those? So what I might go next is, oh, sorry, wrong colour pen. I think I'm going to go as it has wings or no wings. So, hedgehog owl cat, well only one of those has wings, so that means we've narrowed it down to there, to the owl. And then no wings, that still leaves us with hedgehog and cat, so we still need another branch to go. But we've only got two animals now. So what question can we think of to decide whether something is a hedgehog or a cat? Well, I can think of one quite obvious one. You could come up with your own. But the one I'm going to go for is uh, spikes. Or no spikes. So obviously spikes, well, that's going to be hedgehog. And no spikes between hedgehog and cat is cat. So, now we've got six bottoms to this. Sorry, zoom out as much as I can. So we've got six ends. We've got dolphin, shark, hedgehog, cat, owl, snake. One for each animal. And you might have noticed as we went along that, for example, no wings. That applies to some of these over here. But they've already been on this side, so we've already ruled those out earlier. So you can have questions like that. So then, let's say I've picked a mystery animal, and you ask me those questions. So right, I've picked one of those mystery animals. So then you ask me, okay, does it live in the sea, or doesn't it live in the sea? And I tell you, this doesn't live in the sea. So you immediately come over to this side. And then you ask me, does it have legs or no legs? So I say, well, it's got legs. So then you come here, and then you ask me, does it have wings or no wings? And I say, actually, no, it doesn't have any wings. So then you come here, and then finally you ask me if it has spikes or no spikes. And I say it has spikes because hedgehogs are really cute, and I wanted to pick a hedgehog. And so you go, oh, you've picked a hedgehog then. And that's how these keys work. So hopefully that was understandable. I know it's going to be a, quite a new concept to you, but I think it is fairly simple to follow through the steps. If you have any questions or anything about it, just get in touch and we can chat about it some more. Thanks for watching.